Good morning. As I was reading my devotional this morning in Ephesians 5, 15 through 17, it really took me a moment, but I was reading it over and over for a little bit to meditate on it and really find what was uncomfortable about it for me. And what really stood out for me was the part about be careful how you live. Live wisely, not like fools or the unwise. Make the best use of your time because the days are evil. Don't be foolish with your lives, but learn what the Lord wants you to do. Basically, procrastination is something that I've dealt with most of my life. But now I'm seeing how it makes me uncomfortable because I'm now noticing how procrastination is a thing where the enemy attacks you and keep you from getting where you need to be in life. As an entrepreneur and a person who wants to live life for God, I realize that if we are not living life and making sure that we are being wise of the precious time that we have, then we will be living like the foolish. And then at that point, we are delaying and putting off what we should be already doing and what requires immediate attention. So while I'm home now, and you know, when I was working all the time, I was working, but I wasn't getting anything done outside of work. And now that I'm home, I want to make sure that I'm getting my my blogging and my um, my things that need to be done for my business regularly every day, and making sure that I'm consistent. That's one thing that I have had an issue with a lot being consistent, but I'm noticing that if I'm not consistent and I'm procrastinating, then how can I build a business? No one will ever know who I am. So it's important for us to be consistent and be focused on not being procrastinators, but realizing the need for perseverance and understanding that when we persevere, we can have joy because the joy of the Lord is our strength. And when we give ourselves over to God, he gives us all of the power that we need, all of the strength that we need. So in ending, I wanted to just share that. Take some time today and figure out what you're delaying or putting off and ask yourself, are you living wise or unwise? Also, I wanted to share how I have also begun um, a few classes. Um, I'm, I'm now doing a infant massage class online and it is offered to anyone Um, I will begin my classes on this Monday March 20th and you can sign up on 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 my website and the class is for anyone who has babies from the age of zero to five years old and also you are able to Find relief for your children if they are dealing with gas or colic or any kind of respiratory or autoimmune issues, anything that they're dealing with, they can also uh, be able to have that kind of um, massage for their bodies. Also, if you just want to learn how to be more nurturing to your child and have a better communication with your child, sign up for the classes. I, I, I guarantee you'll find a a better way for you and your child. You can find out more information about it on my website. I will put it in the comments below and I hope that it will help you. Also, I am also starting a, um, my husband and myself, we're starting a marriage um, group called Saving Your Marriage with David and Tabitha King. And we are hoping that you will find a way to Come and and share with us um, if you are just beginning or you have not been married yet. Um, Pre-marriage is 
a very it's something where you want to learn and know more before you are getting into marriage and knowing what is going to be for your relationship before it happens also when you're in a marriage you're going to need some help along the way some support so we're here for you so um also we have a website for that as well so it, we'd love for you to just come by and share with us also later on i haven't started it yet but i'm hoping to have some couples massage classes soon as well so look forward to seeing you around and hope that this was insightful to you if it was um, go ahead and click subscribe and i look forward to sharing with you more and more thank you be blessed